morning dear students today we are going to start our class with the heading rearing of ducks uh, which is a favorable condition for rearing ducks uh, ducks needs semi aquatic conditions that means it needs some aquatic medium near to the place where we are rearing it and what is the advantages of rearing ducks over hen uh, the uh, ducks eggs it is heavier when compared uh, uh, with the hen's egg then what would be its weight 70 to 84 grams and also these ducks are free from diseases that means uh, it will not be easily infected with the diseases and uh, it require very less attention and care when compared with that of fowls then uh, which are the important breeds in ducks the see that uh, select meat what are its features it is a ordinary duck common bear in the villages of eastern india and uh, what is the color it is light brown in color with the black tips on the feathers beaks are yellow and average egg yield is 80 to 150 per duck and uh, the color of the egg is white and its weight is 56 gram. And what would be the weight of adult bird? It is 1.8 kg. Next breed is Nageshwari duck. Nageshwari duck's picture is shown here. It is common in Assam and West Bengal. Then what is its features? It is black and white colored birds. And its eggs, it is, it is pale blue color eggs, 80 gram weight. And adult bird, it can grow up to a weight of 2 kilograms. Okay, clear? Then uh, next breed is Indian runner. Indian runner, its picture is shown here. Uh, it is found in, it is common in some states in India. And what, would, what is its appearance? It is white color. Uh, an important feature is that it always keep its body in upright position. That is an important notable feature of this breed. Next one is Kaki Campbell. Uh, it is common in India, this one. And its appearance means uh, young chicks are Kaki color. And uh, that color will change to somewhat gray when uh, that chick become one uh, year old okay next uh, and also it's the egg lay starts at the uh, age of six months and egg, egg is white color and it weighed uh, 70 grams then what are the things we need to uh, we need to give attention while managing ducks uh, after uh, it hatch from the egg, that uh, that uh, small ducks are called hatchlings. When it become feathered, then we can transfer uh, those young ones to tanks or ponds or lakes. And while uh, um, uh, while it spends its uh, lifetime there, it uh, it takes food in the form of grass, and also it will feed off snails and small insects found in that medium and what what would be its uh, ration its feed uh, we can feed them by, by mixing ground maize means uh, grinded maize or wheat rice bran uh, then groundnut cake fish meal waste of fish uh, then grounded limestone dried greens etc etc we can uh, mix and give it as its ration in the form of wet marsh. Wet marsh means in, in that mixture should be in, in wet form. Okay. Then uh, about the breeding of ducks. One drake. Drake means uh, the male duck. One drake uh, is allowed to uh, go with the five or six ducks. And what, what is the uh, time of egg laying of duck? It is night or sometimes early morning, not during the day, early morning or night. And what is the incubation period? Incubation period is 35 days. 
and how we can uh, discriminate a, a hen, ma uh, female duck from male uh, duck or drake uh, the male duck or the drake uh, uh, we can see here uh, some curly feathers in the tail with that we can uh, discriminate a male from female duck then housing of ducks where where we need to construct or uh, where uh, what things we need to um, give attention while uh, preparing housing for ducks it should be near to a water source that's very important thing and it and the floor should be cemented a cemented flooring is unnecessary so that's about uh, the rearing of ducks next we are going to see about the rearing of turkeys is very beautiful bird this picture is shown here the main purpose of rearing turkeys is to um, uh, for uh, for meat purpose and which are the common variety uh, broad breasted brawns and what are its features it is the heaviest of all varieties and uh, looking to its plumage it will be black um, yeah, towards the underneath while it suffers, suffers uh, is having an iridescent green bronzing iridescent green bronzing means somewhat the design of a rainbow uh, mixture of colors so that's the plumage color uh, you can uh, understand by looking into this picture that feature then average egg production is 75 eggs in the first year and the color of the egg will be white uh, and uh, that white egg will be mottled with uh, brown that is the color then females it weighs 11 kg that is important this much weight it can gain during its growing period next how we can manage turkeys reproduction potential is very low it's very difficult to um, make its reproduction effective um for uh, stimulating its egg production uh, artificial lights are applied and that egg production will start during the month of or uh, between the month of 8 to 9 uh, 8 to 9 odd female turkeys are selected to stimulate egg production by using artificial lights and also artificial fertilizations are also practiced Hatching time is 28 days uh, and uh, at what age it attain maturity on uh, becoming uh, 3 year old it will attain maturity. And what about the mating what cock is allowing to uh, go with 5 hands and it is very pro and it is profitable age at what age it is profitable uh, to sell it in the market uh, about 20 to 26 week old. Uh, um, turkey um, uh, is more good for marketing purpose then how we can uh, detect the fat grade of the turkey by assessing the thickness of breast fold the breast portion by assessing the thickness in the breast region we can detect its fat grade what would be its feed it should be a mixture of wheat bran ground rice means um, uh, crushed rice finely chopped boiled vegetables etc and its housing what type uh, should be its housing uh, that flooring should be wire netted and uh, um, large shed uh, shed should be large and also enclosed with wire netting and uh, regarding the diseases uh, um, it is a hardy bird hardy bird means uh, it it can uh, survive all the uh, unfavorable condition even then uh, it may infect it by some diseases the common one is black heart uh, it is a serious disease of turkey okay then we can moving to um, um, to another category of fowl that is quails rearing of quails what are quails it is a collective name collective name for uh, a uh, for a collection of genera that includes mid-sized, small-sized birds. Uh, its order is Galliforms family, Odendophorinae. And uh, which are the breeds of 
quail, Japanese breed is there, silver, negro, Chinese, etc. They are better lace. As its size is small, they are not uh, broilers. So, they are better lace. And uh, as, as it cannot gain, it cannot put uh, too much weight. Uh, that means, it is very poor in converting the food to weight. So, that's why we cannot uh, rear it for broiler. A speciality of its egg is it, it is very small, uh, but it is high uh, with respect to the cholesterol content. How we can manage the coil? Incubation period will be 17 to 24 days. Then hatching requirements for the first five days, uh, the temperature should be 95 degree Fahrenheit. After that, we can reduce to 90 degree Fahrenheit by the 10th day. Then brooding box, regarding the brooding box, uh, that it, uh, it should possess sufficient air circulation and that uh, wire flooring should be covered with a lace of newspaper that will help to easily clean its droopings. And uh, there should be some feeding troughs and also that brooding chain box should be free of uh, it, it, it can prevent the entry of any rat or cat. Uh, after 15 days of hatching, the birds can transfer to growing cages. It's feed. What, what type of feed? Uh, it is very sensitive to high salt level. So, we need to give that much attention towards that aspect. Uh, it should be provided with a protein-rich diet. And there is no non-morbid uh, non disease for this quails. Okay, with this I think we can uh, finish today's topic. Thank you.